Yeah, um, thank you very much. We, uh, first of all, when we are registering a higher education institution, we have a criteria that we use to register. And under that criteria, we look at um, first the governance of the institution, uh, the infrastructure that is there, the uh, curriculum, uh, you know, the programs they are running, staffing, uh, resources, you know, that that are used to run the institution. As you know, uh, there must be, if you are starting a business, you must have some resources to start with. Um, and also, um, you know, we look at, um, I mentioned the programs, we also look at, uh, you know, uh, health and safety of the place, uh, occupational you know, certificates from the councils where they are re residing. So all these are looked at as you are registering an institution. Now, we go back for audits. Maybe if you register now, we can say, okay, we'll come back next year just to see how you are doing. Um, and then when we come for the audits, we look at the criteria that was used to register your institution, how are you now following on what you promised, but there's also what we call um, um, an institutional uh, development program as opposed to submit, so that you tell us how you intend to develop in the next three to four years, operational plan. Um, so we, we also look at that, okay, you promise you will do this. When you registered, you had the, so many staff. Maybe you had 10 members of staff. Now you have two. You know, when you registered, you had all these things. So we audit together with the institution, or they, they submit what is known as a self um, audit. They look at themselves, and there's a tool they use. Then we use that to come and audit the institution. Basically, it's a verification process or validation process. Now, if we find that, really, the, the way the operation, operations are, are not up to standard for you to operate as a university, we'd register it because we want to protect the public uh, so that, you know, they are not subjected to substandard um, qualifications. So that's how the, the, the registration is done. But the audits really are meant for uh, continuous improvements. They are meant to improve. Once we come, we identify the maybe areas of strength that the institution has and also areas of weakness. Then we, you come up with a, an improvement plan where those areas of weakness are, are you know, there's a plan to improve on them. But if we see that, look, there's too much here in terms of weaknesses. Even if you gave us an improvement plan, we are not doing service to the students because the quality here is, is not good enough. So we deregister the institution. But they are allowed to apply again. Uh, to be registered if those issues are addressed. So it's not like, uh, you know, casting stone the registration, but an institution can opt to register. That is the process of the registration.